a production of the New Jersey Courts. I am honored to welcome you to the opening of the Morris County Women Pioneers in the Law exhibit. Today we celebrate the women of Morris County and Sussex County who paved the way and made a difference in the practice of law. The exhibit includes the first women to be appointed as Superior Court judges in Morris and Sussex, the first woman to be appointed as the first assistant prosecutor in Morris, the first two and only two female deputy public defenders in Morris County, as well as the first women to practice law in Morris and Sussex County. I want to thank the Morris and Sussex Visage for shining a spotlight on women pioneers in the law, because without those pioneers, particularly the earliest among them, none of us here today or honored on the banners that we see would be where they ended up or are going. As you'll see when you have time to really study this exhibit, we pay tribute to the women who led the way in every component of the judicial system. Uh, our trial and appellate judges, past and present, are prominently featured. I'm especially gratified that a dear friend of mine, uh, Judge Susan Scott, who has passed away, um, who was a mentor to me as a, and a partner at Riker Danzig, is honored here. It was not too long before these women became active practitioners that women had begun to be permitted to serve as jurors after they got the right to vote. And everyone was adjusting to that. You'll see a cartoon in this exhibit that jokingly uh, shows how much, dif with what difficulty men were adjusting to women in sitting in jury boxes and having to peer around their large bonnets. And I often meet people uh, who will say to me, I was dreading it. I got that notice, I was so upset, and I went and I was in a trial and it was the greatest experience I've ever had. Um, and so when, when jurors come to this room to to uh, fulfill the jury service, perhaps to be put on a panel, they're going to be able to set a see in the, an exhibit that's in the back of the room that for women, um, jury service was not just a duty, but a privilege for which pioneers had to fight to hold. But more than that, women began to assume participant roles in all aspects of our legal and judicial system becoming not only members of local bar associations, but also leaders in those bar associations, and assuming roles throughout the judicial administration system. 